I work with Kaylee in the admissions um, office. Um, so five, we both are matching today. We didn't coordinate that. We didn't. If you need anything, just ask either one of us in a blue polo. Just by show of hands, is anybody here going into their senior year this upcoming year? All right, cool, cool, awesome. Juniors, sophomores, juniors? Yeah. Awesome, okay, perfect. So you're right on schedule for when you should do some college visits. Heading into your senior year is probably the busiest time because there's a lot of stuff to kind of start to coordinate for when the fall rolls around, uh, but your junior year is a great opportunity to kind of fact find and get some information. Um, and Kaylee's just getting everything set up and she'll give you a presentation shortly, but um, this is exactly the timeline that you should be following. You guys are doing yourself a huge favor by doing your college visits early because once the fall rolls around, it gets really, really busy to schedule college visits. So this is perfect timing. You get a lot of personalized attention and um, you can ask us as many questions as you want today. Please do not hesitate. There are, there's no such thing as a stupid question. We've heard it all before um, and sometimes we hear new ones, so don't hesitate to ask. My best advice is that there's probably somebody in here who has the same question that you have or you may be afraid to ask, so go ahead and ask it because they may be really grateful that you spoke up about it. So don't hesitate to ask questions. And you'll get a campus tour with lots more information as well. Any questions just right off the bat? Anything that you're dying to know in your few minutes that you've been on campus? Awesome. I mean, I didn't think that you would just yet, but you will as the day goes on. So don't hesitate to ask them. So we actually just had a program like that over the summer for students that are coming to LaSalle in the fall um, as freshmen um, so that they can get some hands-on experience in the studio. Mm -hmm. So um, just keep your eyes peeled for um, any emails from us about upcoming events. As things kind of open up in the fall, we'll have more flexibility to do some more large-scale open house style events where you'll be getting face-to-face -face time with faculty members and professors um, and kind of seeing the ins and outs of different major programs. So just wanted to add that on. I was a, a comm person. I studied film and television in college, and it's nice to be able to kind of see what the facilities are. So mm -hmm. um, we definitely have some really cool state-of-the-art stuff here on campus. Yeah. What about the name? Where does the name come from? LaSalle? Yeah. So it's a part of that LaSallean, you know, it's just like LaSalle, the LaSallean like global network basically. So like there's a bunch of LaSalle schools just around the world, whether it's like K through 12 or universities. You'll see, um, you know, as you go around campus too, um, the actual name LaSalle is part of somebody's last name. LaSalle. So um, St. John Baptiste de LaSalle is the patron saint of educators. So um, if that gives you any indication of how dedicated LaSalle is as a name and as a global yeah. network, as Kaylee mentioned, there's many LaSallean schools that have kind of uh, made it their mission to live out the principles of faith, service, and community, which are the three pillars of a LaSalle education. Um, that really is the founding principle of a LaSallean education, so we kind of follow the teachings of John Baptiste de LaSalle, and that's also where the Christian brothers kind of draw their mission, uh, so they follow the teachings of John Baptiste de LaSalle as well, and that's what kind of um, moves us forward. So education is really the cornerstone of um, LaSalle's mission is providing education, accessible education, and making sure that we live that mission. Um, you have, I don't want to say it wrong, but um, the students that help out with the classes, that help the professors. The supplemental instructors. So, 
how does that how does that work? Like, is that competitive? Is it paid? Is it not paid? How does it work with the other course loads? Yeah, so it is considered like kids employment almost. Today we are at LaSalle University, uh, learning a lot about their mission, learning a lot about their undergraduate programs. Um, it is a really great small school to be considered. They have a wonderful Busca program uh, for uh, ELL students. Um, all around, we're just happy to be out and about uh, post-COVID, I guess, this kind of world that we're in right now. Um, but we're super excited to have students on the trip, super excited to be here right now. Um, LaSalle's been nothing but a wonderful host and, and we're just absolutely thankful to be here. to 4 p.m. and then after 4 p.m. there's a number that you can call that has after hours counselors and if you're having an issue or you need to talk to someone, there's always someone on call to so be able to help you out. How are you? I'm Trey. I work with Rashawn on the alumni board. I'm the alumni director here at the uh, Welcome. If you guys have any questions I could help you with on anything. This is, so tell me about your person, Rashawn. Shane. <laughs> oh, so uh, my name is Shane Waller. I'm the center director for LNESC. All these students are involved in the Upward Bound or Upward Bound Math and Science program. Uh, the goal of those programs is to create college-bound students by the time they graduate high school. Okay. Uh, so they've all taken time out of their summer to come and join us on this field trip and a few more that we have planned to tour colleges, learn about what, what's available here in the community. Um, yeah, and they've definitely had a wonderful time here at LaSalle for sure. Good. What are most of you high school seniors, juniors, all over the map? Uh, seniors and juniors, right? Yes. Seniors. Sophomores. Nice. Nice. Any ideas what you want to study? Yes. Yes, you guys know. <laughs> Speak up. Y'all just were talking about it. <laughs> well, sweet. Sorry, I'm putting you on the spot. I'm like the teacher here. Come on. Come <laughs> Well, we'll say if it's different. Your experience is all gonna be made by yourselves in the sense of getting involved, the friends you meet, and what you wanna study. If you don't know what you wanna study right now, that's okay. That's why we're here and you can figure it out. Because your freshman and sophomore year allows you to kinda of test the waters and try a bunch of different classes. There's only a couple majors where you kinda of wanna know as soon as you come in. That's what I want to do because they're like professional type stuff, like accounting, kind of nursing. That way you can get out in four years because we only want you to do four years. We don't want you to do five, six, or seven. We want to maximize, get out in four. Okay? So, and then, so LaSalle's part of the whole Christian Brothers network. So we have a couple other Christian Brothers schools like Manhattan, Drew, there's, there's five out in so, yeah. Which is, so we, I work a lot pretty closely with the Career Center because we have a person in our office that helps alumni. Bye, thank you, sir.
for your time. It was a pleasure. Thank you. All right, so here we are in the mill, the School of Health, Nursing and Health Sciences. Um, so real quick, just to list a couple of the options if you wanted to take classes in here. You have nursing, you have nutrition, you have speech language pathology. Um, a really great thing about our speech language pathology program is that we offer a five year master's program. So you would get your degree within four years and then your fifth year you'd be a master's student. Um, and that reminds me, one thing I forgot to talk about in the business school is that we have a four year BS MBA program in accounting. So if you wanted to graduate in four years with two degrees, an undergrad, a bachelor's, and a master's, you could do that over at Founders. Um, a really good thing about our nursing students, our nutrition students, um, they start clinicals and observation hours as soon as your freshman year, or as soon as your sophomore year, excuse me. Um, so right away you're getting experience in your field. Um, another great thing that I really love about LaSalle is that all of our academic buildings are designed to look like the environment in which you'll be working. Um, so this is designed a little bit kind of more like a hospital. Um, actually, it used to be a functioning hospital, a Germantown Hospital. Um, it still serves as an outpatient facility on the other side of the building. Uh, but it, yeah, now it's now it's classroom. It's actually crazy. My grandma was born in this hospital, and now I go to school here. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think if I'm missing anything. Do you have anything you want to add? Um, we don't have anyone who's interested in like nursing or nutrition, anything like that. I know you said psychiatry. I, I, I'm also interested in like nutrition. Oh, nutrition, okay, cool, yeah. We have a really great nutrition program. Um, we have a 95% pass rate for our NCLEX, which is the nursing exam that you take to become a nurse. Um, yeah, so really high pass rates for exams like that. Same thing with nutrition. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it for this school. So if you guys have any questions, let us know. If not, we're gonna keep going on our tour. Sorry we have to go back out in the hot, but uh, we're just gonna try to keep it moving. <laughs>
How long have you been in Upper Bound? So, I first started sometime, I think, hmm, sometime in August when I, I was applying for Kesin Kappa. And then I've been with them since, so about three and a half years. Mm. And, um, hmm, what other things have we done? But the one thing you suspect is that you're always gonna go on full trips and learn more, get more college credit too. And how has that helped you, you know, learn about yourself? Help learn about myself? I learned that there's a lot of things that um, I should really try to reach out for. Um, a lot of the things I've uh, experienced, I've experienced before, but they made it greater, like really bigger. Uh, like I really like, this. again, like the stack. I'm a very social person. Like if I can't not near somebody, cause um, I have a weakness. That's not a weakness. Like um, cause I uh, I do have kind of like um a bit of bipolar. Like I got mania, so I can't really fully stream lows. So I'm always extreme. So having somebody around me kind of takes away the strength because my weakness is that I don't have much of a weakness at least most of me so being around people that I can relate to trust with and reach out uh, frequently because um, I still get texts and messages from them um, from the day in fact I actually got some uh, yesterday I miss French Yellows I believe you pronounced that right because um, I was just uh, relaxing had nothing to do and then boom just got reached out no reason at all and I was very, very happy. So there's like a sense of community. Yeah. That you feel definitely. with the program. And how have like the connections you've made in the program, um, have you used them, you know, like? Oh yes, well definitely. Mm -hmm. um, I think I used a few to kind of apply for a job or apply for something. I can't remember exactly what it was, but I have used the connections a lot. And what are things that um, the UB UBMS program is helping you prepare for in the future? Like talking about your future and your goals. Well, speaking of future, I actually just remembered this. Um, so recently, due to my um, curriculars in Kennedy Capital and the help of Upper Bound, I actually got a National School Society thing from it. So I actually signed up. I'm registered. So I'm really out here thanks to them. Did the program help you with that? Yeah, they was listed underneath it, like listed as um, an extra that helped out in achieving that goal. Mm -hmm. 